Cerebral palsy is a form of neurodisability which is common in preterm infants. Around one in five extremely preterm babies will develop cerebral palsy as a result of damage to the very fragile developing brain. Cerebral palsy is a devastating condition that has long-term impact on the life of the child and on the family. The cost to society in general is huge. It's estimated in the UK that around two to three billion pounds per year is associated with the cost of prematurity in general, and the majority of that would be due to neurodisability. Up to recently, there's been no way of preventing cerebral palsy in preterm infants. However, the meta-analysis published in 2009 demonstrated that magnesium sulfate, when given to mothers in preterm labour, is very effective at reducing cerebral palsy. The cost of magnesium sulfate is very, very low. It's a drug that costs around one pound per vial. And the method of administration is exactly the same as what midwives would give to mothers that have high blood pressure. So it's a very cheap drug and it's very effective at reducing cerebral palsy. So uh, Jack and uh, his twin brother Riley were delivered at 24 weeks gestation after rapid onset preterm labour, delivered in Swindon. Fortunately there was enough time for their mother to receive magnesium sulphate. So both these boys have benefited directly from the Precept project. Around the UK, the uptake of this intervention has been slow. We know around 20% of babies at the moment are receiving the benefit of this. With this in mind, I approached the West of England Academic Health Science Network to fund an improvement project to try and improve the uptake of magnesium sulphate and preterm labour across the West of England. The West of England Academic Health Science Network was visionary in supporting this project as it would have long-term impact. They funded an improvement team consisting of improvement scientists, project managers, we put together a care pathway, improvement package and trained up midwives. In the process, the midwives trained up almost 600 members of staff and the end result is that we've improved the uptake of magnesium sulphate in eligible mothers from around 30% to 85%. If this can be sustained over the next few years, it will have significant impact, probably reducing cerebral palsy in around 15 to 20 children per year. The long-term aim for the project is to roll Precept out nationally which will have a massive impact on the children, the families and society in general.